Proverbs 10 14 mobile teacher here thank you for joining me the wise lay up knowledge but the mouth of the wicked is before destruction the wise lay up knowledge here again King Solomon is dealing with the mouth the mouth and the mind and the connection between the two or the mouth and the heart and the mind the brain has to store up knowledge with which to speak from have you ever met somebody that does not speak from their brain I have and I know that there's times that I've spoken uh, not from my brain but from my emotions uh, from my flesh so the wise store up knowledge they learn and they educate themselves in different matters, not only biblically, but matters that pertain to living in this world and being safe in this world and, and having a moral compass in this world. And the, the wise make sure that they store those things up so that when the moment comes to speak, they are wise with that knowledge. Now, on the flip side, as always, there is the tongue that is spoken, the mouth that is used in ignorance and not in wisdom. And that wicked mouth will move to destruction. How is that so? Well, we'll speak words that are not words of life, but words of death. Not words of uplifting grace and mercy, but words of condemnation and judgment. And when we speak with those things, when we speak the things that we don't understand what kind of power are behind them, then most often whatever we put out ends up coming back to us in some form or another. Maybe the wise individual even stores up knowledge and knows enough when not to speak but when to hold their tongue. Be quick to listen, slow to speak. I know I use a lot of examples of driving, but that's what I do for a living. And as a school bus driver with children on board my bus, I have to be very careful. Or even driving with my wife. Say somebody cuts me off, or somebody does something crazy on the road in front of me, and inside I want to say something or do something that may cause uh, myself or the people I'm with, my children on my bus, to be in danger if I engaged the individual. And so because I've stored up knowledge and been trained and listened and paid attention and absorbed, retained what I was trained, I know enough that when things are going crazy, my job is to evade and, and evade those situations, to get away from those situations as much as possible and not give them place. And if somebody is acting crazy, I do not engage them. I report it. I, I put it over the radio or what have you. I don't engage that person because I could put all the people that I'm in charge of in danger. Whereas the foolish, the wicked, they may just act out in a moment of aggression and anger, uh, not counting the cost. Jesus says we need to count the cost of everything that we do. So that's where Solomon is trying to break through into our hearts to let us know that if you're wise, you'll store up wisdom to be able to respond vocally or otherwise in the right way, in the godly way. And if you are foolish in your own flesh, then you will sow unrighteousness, you will sow um, things that will cause calamity in your life. You will sow negativity and those things will come back to you. We reap what we sow. So if we sow knowledge, we'll reap it. If we sow ignorance and foolishness, we will reap it. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. Mobile teacher.